Hey, what's happening, Fearless Networkers? Todd Falcone here. Welcome to the episode. What is up, you guys? So, <laughs> all right. So it's funny, like a week and a half ago, I was doing a training in Vegas. And one of the things that I said on that platform was, you, you can't be 100% reliable on one thing. And that one thing I was talking about was Facebook to grow and market your business. And as most of you are aware, uh, this past week, what happened? Facebook broke, basically. And so I want to talk a little bit about that and what that means to your business, especially if last Thursday or whenever you happen to be watching this video, you went into a panic. This is, a, this is something that I was literally on the platform talking about this. And then look, again, I don't, I, I'm not down on Facebook. You guys, are, you, you may have been watching this video on Facebook. I don't even know. You might be, I don't know, wherever you're, you might be listening to the podcast, on YouTube. I don't know. Social media is cool. It's here. It helps us. It gives us the ability to do things that we've never been able to do before. But here's something that I see happening, and this is what I talked about on stage, and I wanted to do a video on it just as a reminder, because this last Thursday when Facebook broke, it was a reminder that, um, you know, we need to do things a little bit differently, right? I had to check to see if my mic was on, but that's okay. I'm not going to change it. So, um, look. If last Thursday you were in shutdown mode and, oh my gosh, what am I going to do now? If your business suffered, if your activity suffered, if it threw you for a loop, then you're too reliant on Facebook to grow your business, period, end of story. Because again, the thing that I say all the time, and, I've, and, I, and I'm not going to ever stop saying this, I'm just not going to stop saying it because you don't own Facebook. You don't own LinkedIn. You don't own YouTube. I mean, I, got, I know people that have built huge YouTube channels, huge, massive followings, only to have them completely shut down. Facebook, and by the way, Facebook, to be honest with you, they don't even like multi-level marketing. If you go look at their advertising policies, you wouldn't know this unless you're advertising and spending ad dollars on Facebook. But if, if, if you go look at their ad policies, they look at multi-level marketing as a get-rich-quick scheme. It's, it talks about it in their ad policies. So he, here we've got this behemoth that we're all on, on every single day and that we're using and it's great and they give us the liberty of doing stuff on it. But if, if, if you get too reliant on it, you're gonna be in for a world of hurt, period, end of story. And I cannot express to you enough, if you're, going, if you're, gonna, if you're smart, if you're a smart network marketer, you will have a multitude of reaching out methods and communication methods that you have for prospecting, business building, as well as communicating with your organization. And because the thing is, like, you could, you could wake up one day and your Facebook page is disabled. It happened to me a few years ago. I didn't have access to my page for like three weeks. I was running ad dollars. I couldn't even change the ads that I was running on my business page because I didn't have access. I had to prove I was me and it took me three weeks to prove I was me, which is crazy to me. But again, it's a free thing. So, so what's, how do we combat it? What's the deal? Okay, first of all, um, it's kind of like this whole idea. Uh, like I, like I, have, I have friends of mine that have businesses where they're like do super high dollar per customer. And like one of my friends had a business where like most of it, like 80 to 90% of his revenue is coming from one customer. Can you imagine 80 to 90% of your corporate revenue is coming from one customer? Well, what happens if you lose that one customer? You are literally out of business. And it's the same thing with like relying too much on Facebook. Now, here's something that I got smart about. The moment um, that I got shut down from Facebook, and I was already kind of in the habit of doing this, but I've made, made it really clear because I realized when I was in shutdown mode and I couldn't access my page, I'm like, wow, there's all these people that, I communicate with on a pretty regular basis that I don't have their phone number, I don't have their email address, and if I don't have access to Facebook's platform, that's the only way that I can communicate with them. So I started reaching out to people and instant messaging and you know Facebook messaging people and saying, hey, listen, start a conversation, say, listen, I want to make sure you have my phone number, what's yours? I always give mine first, I always give my phone number and email first, hey, John, Todd Falcone, I want to make sure you have my phone number and email address, here it is, what's yours? The law of reciprocation goes into effect and they feel inclined to have to give you their theirs in return, that's just the way it works. Now, 
I don't think I've ever had anybody decline and say, I'm not going to give you my, my phone number. If somebody's your, if somebody you're connected with on Facebook, they're very likely to, you know, give you their contact information. I would also be very careful not to go out and tomorrow go message 150 people asking them, Hey, let me have your name and let me have your phone number and email address because that in and of itself, I mean, think about that. You can't even do that. You can't go tomorrow to all your friends and send a message say, Hey, I'd like to get your name or excuse me, your phone number and email address without uh, basically being put into Facebook jail. So just the act of you reaching out too much or liking stuff too much or doing something can literally put you into Facebook jail where they've limited your account. Many of you have probably experienced it before. What I think is happening in today's marketplace, and, it's, and look, I've been around since before the internet existed. The internet, not just social media, the internet existed in business, right? And I love the new, new things that come along. I mean, there's so many things that have made business so much easier. Mobile devices and text messaging and Facebook messaging and online videos and all these things. But we have to remember the fundamentals of what we do in network marketing. This is something I teach all the time, the fundamentals. I teach other stuff. I teach advanced stuff. I teach all sorts of things. But if you can, if you can make sure you have the fundamentals of connecting with other human beings mastered. In fact, the other day when Facebook was broken, it was beautiful for me. I was like, oh my gosh, I didn't even skip a beat. I just moved to picking up the phone. I made 77 outgoing phone calls that day. And it was a massively productive day. So for you guys, if, if you, your business suffered on Thursday when, or whatever, last Thursday, whenever it was when Facebook was out, then you need to do something differently. You need to start utilizing other approaches towards building your business because imagine, in fact, let's, let's paint this situation. You don't have Facebook. What would you do if you didn't have Facebook? Many people, unfortunately, check this out, many people, unfortunately, would literally be out of business in network marketing if they, in today if they didn't have Facebook. And to me, that's insanity because it's not Facebook network marketing. They're doing Facebook on network marketing, but it's not Facebook network marketing and Facebook doesn't even like network marketing. So my suggestion to you is making sure that you have a multitude of reaching out methods. You have cold market strategies, that you have attraction marketing strategies, that you have things that are doing to generate you prospects and leads, that you have different things that you're doing in your community, physical communities, doing things where you're connecting with and meeting new people, advertising, understand advertising, understand copywriting, understanding how to run campaigns so that you can generate your own stuff. Because if it's just Facebook, and so so crazy to me, so many people are like, literally, I think Facebook is making, so it's making some people strong in certain areas, and it's making people weak in others. And it's making people weak in the areas where, oh, I can hide behind my computer. I don't really have to even engage somebody in conversation. And what it's doing is it's taking somebody's fear of creating a connection with someone. And they're like, well, I don't have to face my fear anymore. I can just hide behind my computer. You know, I can just do it all back here. And look, I'm not, again, I'm not knocking it. Like, it's cool to be able to sit and like, make money on your computer. Like, great, it's awesome. But I think really the best thing to do if we're going to be strong people, strong leaders, strong communicators, uh, strong business professionals is to have a multitude of different ways in which we grow our business and which we provide support for our business. Like it's so crazy to me how if the only thing that you're doing is you have Facebook groups for, for supporting your team and that's the only thing you got. Like I support my whole team through Facebook groups and you don't have like a team training website. Like, wh I would never do that. Now, I would maybe have the whole community of Facebook. It's awesome. Where we, this is where we spend our time. But if, like, something happened, boom. You, you, don't, even, you don't even skip a beat. You, every, you got everybody on your team training website, and everybody's plugged in there. And n nobody's, like, in a total panic. Like, oh, how are we going to know about what's happening because the Facebook group was shut down or Facebook shut down or it was broken? I mean, think about it. Right? So, again... Going back to when Facebook broke, what happened for you? Did you just go, okay, cool, no big deal, bam, I'm back at it, massively productive day, just doing different activities than you might have done? Or was it like, holy smokes, what am I going to do today? Maybe I should go to the movies until Facebook is back on. I don't know. I mean, I had people sending me text messages. Is this really happening? Is, this, is Facebook broken? Is your Facebook broken? I don't know what to do. I mean, I literally had people panicking. And if that's you... That is not a good sign. That's kind of like if you had your whole business relying on one customer and all of a sudden they left, you would absolutely be in a panic, right? So be smart, be well-rounded, utilize the tools, these tools that we have available to, to us for, for the things that they're available to us for that help us to grow a network, but don't be solely reliant on them. 
The analogy that I use all the time, and I think it's pretty accurate, if you, if you rely so much on Facebook, it, like, like it, it, building your business on Facebook is a lot like uh, by building your dream house on rented land with a super nasty landlord. That's the way I, I phrased it. Because they could do whatever they want, whenever they want it. And the reality is all of us that are using you know, Facebook for network marketing, they don't even like it. I mean, if you go straight up, try to run a, a business opportunity ad for people to earn more money working from home, your ads for the most part are going to get denied. That's what you're dealing with. Now, most people, most network marketers aren't running paid ads to grow their business or, you know, building their business on their profile page, which is actually technically against Facebook's policies, right? But people do it anyway, and most of them don't get caught or nothing ever typically happens, but it is against their policies to do business on your personal page, but we all do it. So again, in summation, be smart. If you panicked the other day, then you need to do things differently. I'm not going to tell you what to do. You figure it out. You got to figure out what you're going to do differently because if it's just Facebook, what if Facebook didn't exist? What would you do then? That's one way. That's the angle I would take. If Facebook did not exist, what would you do today to build your business? Do that. That's a good start. So uh, there's some great resources. I don't know if you're watching me on YouTube or you're listening to my podcast uh, or you're on my website. If you're not, go to my website because we've got some great tools for you to help you be a better network marketer. Go to toddfalcone.com forward slash episode 16. That's episode 16. There's some great resources in the network marketing mastery section and we're about ready to start our next A-team. You ready to run? Next 90-day blitz. This is something I've been doing since 2008 and it's an amazing epic experience for you to see what you're made of, made of and step up your game. So you'll see the information on that page and we're going to run. We're going to start here soon. So you want to check it out. So have an amazing day. Stay fearless, my friends. Thanks for plugging in.